Welcome back. So I thought I would continue on now with helping you to, now that we've loaded the entire curriculum into your Google Classroom. So I'm gonna go back into my Google Classroom and you'll see here the Master 7 IM in which we uploaded the curriculum from our IM.KendallHunt site to. And when you click on it, like I said, under Classwork, you will see all of the files uploaded. So I thought I would show an easier way that you would be able to create a class without uploading the entire grade seven if you wanted to do it lesson or unit by unit. So the easiest way to do that for a workaround is go back to your Google Classroom and after I've created a master seventh grade classroom, creating a new class. And maybe this class I will call period one. give it a second for it to create. Once you've created that class now that you're in here, say you want to take one of the lessons from your master grade seven and import only that. If you go to classwork and you click on the create, you're gonna click reuse post. This is why it's important to have that uploaded. Once you click that, you're gonna click on the master class that you've created. So master grade seven, where you see all of the lessons embedded here. And now I can pick just lesson one from unit one, click reuse. And now just that lesson will have imported into this classroom. So I can click assign to go ahead and publish. And now in my period one grade seven, as opposed to having the entire curriculum you see under classwork, I only have the grade seven unit one lesson one. I'll go back just to show you again for a refresher. So if you click on your master grade seven, go to classwork, you will see all of the units and lessons. And if you'd like to only share a couple at a time or as you're integrating that lesson topic, if you created the separate class and you go to your classwork, now you'll see only the lesson that I wanted to import. Hopefully you find that helpful and um, good luck.